Here are the rules for drawing vector diagrams. A vector is a quantity with magnitude and direction. For example, 45 miles per hour north refers to a measurement of the quantity of velocity. The magnitude is 45 miles per hour and the direction is north. For any vector, you must specify the quantity, the magnitude, and the direction. In vector diagrams, we represent the vector with an arrow labeled with the quantities symbol. In this case, the quantity is a displacement. The tail of the arrow starts where the vector x and the head of the arrow, the pointy end, is drawn in the direction of the vector. It is usually a good idea not to mix different quantities. This would clutter the diagram, making it harder to interpret. For different quantities, it is better practice to draw a separate diagram or at least draw the different quantity on the side. Remember that because vectors have directions, it is incorrect to add them up by magnitude only. You add vectors by considering their directions as well. Here is the tail to head method. Suppose you have two vectors, A and B, represented in this picture. To add A and B, you start by drawing the first vector, tail to head, then use the end point as your new starting point to draw the next vector, tail to head. Once you had drawn all the vectors, you draw the resultant vector from the tail of the very first vector to the head of the very last vector. You can do this for any number of vectors. When you multiply your vector by a scalar, you are not changing its direction, only its magnitude. In this example, multiplying the vector a by 3 merely lengthens its magnitude, but the direction remains the same. 
Remember, however, that the negative sign for vectors is a direction. It means to turn the vector around to point in the opposite direction. When you subtract one vector from another one, it is the same as adding the negative of that vector. Here are two common errors involving adding vectors. The first common error is drawing the vectors tail to tail and then drawing the resultant vector between their heads. We had just seen that this will actually give you B minus A. The second common error is the circular resultant. You draw the vectors successively tail to head, but then you draw the resultant from the head of the last vector back to the tail of the first vector. This will give you the correct magnitude but opposite direction to what was asked for. Putting it all together, you can combine all the rules involving vector addition, scalar multiplication, and subtraction.